Hello ladies and gentlemen of the YouTubes, it's your old pal Chain Gun 1701 here with World of Warships. Don't panic, XCOM 2, the second part is coming, it'll be released tomorrow. But World of Warships went and did this. <laughs> the Spooky Ships Challenge. You basically have these three ships. The Jackal, which is a Nassau. The Igor, the Igor, which is a St. Louis, and the Blade, which is a Wakataki, to complete a mission of getting a special ship called the Transylvania across the map to the exit point on the far side. Sounds simple. It's not. <laughs> I'll show you my most successful replay, but I will warn you. I have not finished this one. I have not been able to complete this one yet, and I am not alone. So, let's get into the replay. Okay, so this was my second attempt to beat this mode. My first attempt in the Igor. My very first attempt to beat this mode was using the Jackal. Now. I came into this with exactly the wrong mindset, as most of you probably already have. Thinking of this as just a PvE battle. The usual co-op. You know, you're going to win 90% of the time, and the AI really isn't all that dangerous, provided you use a modicum of sense. Well, actually, this is much more like an MMORPG. Battle starts. Now, as I said, the goal is to get that ship that is in Sorry about that. The goal is to get that ship right there, the Transylvania, to the exit point on the far side of the map, which is over around F10. Now, what we have up here in front of us is a catapult. These are basically like fortresses. And these are one of three different types of enemies you're going to encounter here. Now, one of the first things that's worth mentioning is we're making a big is that right off we made a big mistake. The first ships that enter this circle around the Transylvania, they need to be your battleships. Because as you can see our battleships are now at the back of the formation, and they're gonna be struggling to keep up the entire game. Which means these things up here. These zombie Mikasas, or Zikasas, are going to get much clearer shots at the Transylvania. But also, it means the battleships are going to have a longer time before they can get within shooting range of these catapults. The battleships are the ones who really need to target the catapults. The destroyers can fairly easily torpedo the Zikasas. But we're not giving our battleships the opportunity because we stay, we seemed into the circle right off the bat. The cruisers and destroyers got in here, and the more ships you have in this circle, the faster the Transylvania here goes. Which means, again, look, our battleships are struggling to keep up. And it means the Transylvania is going to enter range of these catapults more quickly. And what's actually saving the Transylvania is the fact that our destroyers are taking the beat, which is a problem. The destroyers are some of your biggest DPSs. The Zikasas are not great at dodging torpedoes. Now, and with a rapid reload on these destroyers, 
they can tear the Sakasas apart, provided they stay out of secondary battery range. Sakasa is, after all, is basically a reskin Mikasa, Japanese tier 2 battleship, which means its secondaries are incredibly dangerous. So the destroyers need to stay out of secondary gun range, and our destroyers are not doing a great job of that. Now, if you put your eye on the mini-map, you'll notice the two battleships, the two Zakasa battleships that just spawned at F1. One of the first things you need to do is ignore them. They're trailing behind, they may catch up, they may not. But turning around to engage them is a big mistake. Now, we're all over the place here. Ideally, the way you want to be in formation is to have the eagles, these things. That what I'm driving and what my friend, what uh, this guy over here is driving. They want to be in close to Transylvania, with the battleships next out and the destroyers on the edge. Think of it like an onion, with the Transylvania in the middle. The destroyers put torpedo fire into the incoming Zakasas and do a lot of damage to them. The battleships pummel down the catapults and finish off low-health Zakasas. Ideally. But we're not doing that. And as you can see, everyone's left the Transylvania's circle, which means she's coming to a full stop. Make yourself exceptionally vulnerable. The ship is on fire! But Chinga, you said this was like a raid. Every raid has a raid boss in any MMORPG. Yes, I did. And there is a raid boss. We're not going to see it in this region, but if you get near the exit, it's over at F10, and there went another one. Oh, no, the, I thought those were our boxes. If you get over there, a ship will spawn called the Rasputin. Now, you may notice that all these ships that you control are basically Tier 3. He claims they're Tier 9, but they're Tier 3. The Mikasas... Well, Z Casas, Zombie Mikasas, whatever you want to call them. They're tier two. But the rest of you is a Tsar Nicholas I class battleship, tier four. Which means she is exceptionally dangerous. Alright. So, but that's not even what that alone is not what makes her dangerous. What makes her really dangerous? is the simple fact that she has 200,000 hit points. So you need the entire team to focus on her to kill her in any reasonable period of time. Now, it's also worth stating, one of the things I did forget here, these Igors, as you can note by the huge amount of fires I'm racking up, your shells in the Igor have a 35% chance to set fire on target. So you need to be firing nothing but HE. There's also one more little tip and trick I want to mention here. This is a Zikasa. You see this skull thing at the front? That is where the ship's citadel is located. Now, I also want to mention, for those of you who are looking at this and thinking, shame on you, Chain Gun, you're using an aimbot. No, I'm not. I'm using the free camera mode to look around, see? I'm controlling this in the replay. This is a replay. This is not me playing live. This is a replay. And I'm using free camera. Now... See, I'm racking up huge amounts of fires because of my shells. 35% chance for fire on target with the Zakasa's shell. Or with the uh, Igor's shells. Your flame floor, basically. But in this case, it's not going to be enough. 
because as you can see we've already lost a cruiser and a destroyer. The destroyers are actually very important. They're DPS machines. And they're the DPS machines that keep these Sakasas at bed. Now, I really thought we had a chance to win at this point because if you look, the Transylvania is in full health. And the goal is over there. But look at the map. When you get to this area that we're pushing into, look at all the Sakasas spawning. I mean, over near the end point. You can see there are six Sakasas in that area alone. And at least four more are going to actually speak of the devil. I said you weren't going to see the rest of you, but I lied. Damn it. There she is. No. Okay. We're going to actually take a little... I'm blind. Blue the disengage and show you this stupid. Just to prove to you I'm not lying about what this thing is. So, like I said, this is the Rasputin. 200,000 hit points. And you can see. She's the Tsar Nicholas the First, and she can do immense amounts of damage. Now, I'm going to get back to my ship, because right here is where you're seeing the massive collapse point. Started with one destroyer, and then a cruiser, and now our team is just dying. Now, here's another proof that we're facing off against what are basically Mikasas. I've got two fires on me. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got another Mikasa. Yep. Four fires. And I'm not going to survive this. This is a raid. And you have to have that mentality. You have to have the mentality that we are entering into a raid. And that you have to have. You have to be working as a team. Because otherwise, it's just not going to happen. You have to establish the defensive on you. Your destroyers, the battleships, and crews all have to be on point. Everyone has to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. So that's World of Warships Halloween Special Spooky Ship Mode. Like I said, the best way to do this is the defensive onion. With the Igors in close to the Transylvania, then the Jackals, then the Blades. And what I did not mention was the role that the Igors are supposed to have here is you finish off low health catapults, light the Zakasas on fire, and basically clean up kills. Everyone has to be working together. You have to go into this with the mentality that this is not a co-op battle. This is a raid. And you have a raid boss at the end. So I hope this helped you. But if you like this video, shoot the like button. Please give the subscribe button a tap. If you're feeling generous, visit my Patreon account linked in the description below. Do all three, and I love ya. This is Chain Gun 1701 signing off.